Behold, the Hoover Dam. 6.6 million tons of concrete, harnessing nearly a trillion gallons of water. 16,000 men spent half a decade building it. They lived in shacks and tents along its base without drinking water, toilets, or shelter from the desert heat. More than a hundred of these men gave their lives to this dam. Their bodies are paved over in its walls. Its two million kilowatt capacity powers the greatest city in the world, Las Vegas. And just as these heroic men did more than 60 years ago, we are building a dam. A dam to hold back the tidal wave of feminization that is flooding this country. A dam to stop the river of estrogen that is drowning us in political correctness. A dam to urinate off of when we're really drunk. We call this dam... The, the Man Show. Show. But we're not here for applause. We're here because we have a serious problem in this country, and her name is Oprah. Yes! That's right. Millions and millions of women are under Oprah's spell. This woman has half of America brainwashed. She tells them what to read, what to eat, what to think, what to do. We're the ones that are supposed to be telling them what to do, right? Yes! Enough is enough. The Oprahization of America must be stopped. This Oprah needs to do a little less brainwashing and a little more sock washing. We are here today to reclaim the airwaves, to take back the medium we invented. Hey, who invented the television? A man or a woman? That's right. He didn't invent it for Oprah or Rosie. No, this Alley McBullshit. No, he invented it for Charlie and his angels. Hogan and his heroes, Starsky and his hutch. Those were shows men could enjoy. We want to return to that era, and that is what this show will be. A joyous celebration of chauvinism. After all, what do guys want to see on TV? We want girls. Girls? <laughs> girls jumping on trampolines. Mm -hmm. And monkeys. And midgets. And the fastest beer drinker in the world who happens to be here tonight, that is the Fox. Fox, show him what you do. Look at that. That is challenge. And this is our solemn promise to you. As long as we're on the air, so help us God, every man show will end with girls jumping on trampolines. <laughs> All right, enough talking. Uh, this ain't the view we're doing here. Let's start at the beginning with the history of man. Man discovers fire. Ben. 
against the telephone. Watson, are you there? I want you to hear something. Go ahead, sir. I can hear you. <laughs> Who knows what wonders the future holds for man? My invention is complete. Well, what does it do? Behold! I'm really excited about farting in the future. Yeah. I think we all are. Yeah. All right, everybody, raise your glasses if you have them. A toast, if you will, to the fox. Hey, lolly, lolly, lolly. Hey, lolly, lolly. Look at before can she swim? Hey lolly lolly oh, hey lolly lolly lolly, hey lolly lolly oh, hey lolly lolly lolly, hey lolly lolly oh. Now I know a girl from Old Kentucky. Hey lolly lolly oh, sense and sense and sense and fuck. Hey lolly lolly oh, hey lolly lolly lolly. Hi, Jimmy Kimmel here. One of the things I cherish most about being a man is spending quality time with my son, passing on the wisdom of one Kimmel generation to another. Kevin, what's eight plus three? Eleven. Very good. And what do you do if the dealer has a six showing? Double down. <laughs> That's right. You're a good little gambler, aren't you? <laughs> but I'm a wonderful father. You know, the network asked us to have a female presence on the show, I guess other than the Juggy Dance Girls, which I think are sufficient, don't you? Uh, they're not doing a great job. So uh, we've got to do something called The Wife's Perspective, featuring my actual wife, Gina, who's uh, been working hard and all week, a little too hard, actually. Gina, you backstage? Uh, yes. All right, we'll get to you in a minute, Pudding Butt. You hang in there, but first, let's go to the Man Show Laboratory, where Professor Corolla is standing by. Thanks, Professor? G. You know, uh, after years and years of misery and pain, things are finally starting to look up for men. Yeah, there's this show, of course, but new advancements in science and technology are making our lives easier in ways never imagined before. This is our latest crop of inventions designed by men for men. We call them manovations. You know, I'm a busy guy, and sometimes I just don't have time to get loaded. That's why I love shotgun beer. Tell them how it works, Adam. Well, Jimmy, with shotgun beer, you got two tabs to pull. One on the top, the other on the bottom. Helps you drink beer fast. Let me show you. Give it a tap. Unbutton the bottom. There we go. Suck out the air. than trying to punch a hole in the can with your car keys. Here's another useful item. You know those plastic six-pack rings, the ones you, you throw them out and they strangle the dolphins and the pigeons? Well, you wouldn't throw them out if they were made of jerky. No, you wouldn't. Beef jerky beer rings. Delicious and good for the environment. Oh, man. Mm. That is good. I'll tell you. If only everything was made of jerky. Oh. What a utopia. <laughs> All right. Back to the show. You know, there's nothing more embarrassing than a phone call with a little woman when your buddies are in the room. Oh, they love to make you squirm in front of the guys, don't they? Yeah. That's why we've developed the automated affection phone. Let me show you how it works. Let's just say you're on the horn with the old lady, and she says, I love you. I love you, too. 
It also comes with, I'm sorry. And I am listening. You married guys know what I'm talking about. Act now, we'll throw in at no additional charge. Inane baby talk. Who's my little pookie boo? Wow. What a great way to placate your broad without looking like a wuss. Face-saving technology from Pa Bell. Now, something for the penis. Nothing ruins a spirited round of masturbation like the puzzled look on your dog's face when he catches you in the act. Is my master in pain? Shall I go for help? What a distraction. But don't put the poor pooch out in the yard. Instead, fit him with one of these. The dog mask. Oh. Look, it's Pam Anderson, everybody. Whoa. It's like Pam Anderson interrupted you. Wait a minute. This is a dog. Oh, my God. Uh, by the way, uh, this is absolutely not for use with the shotgun beer. No. <laughs> also available, the Jennifer Lopez, and for you baseball fans, legendary skipper Don Zimmer. <laughs> that is a sexy All right, pooch. get the hell out of here, will you, Floppy? Put him in my you. dressing room. <laughs> All right. They call him man's best friend, but... <laughs> Who are you kidding, best friend? Listen to me. Oh, my goodness. Your best friend wouldn't take a dump on your lawn, would he? Jimmy, you wouldn't take a dump on my lawn. Actually, I've done it about three times. The, the, the point is, the point is, is cleaning up after your dog's a big half. Oh, my God. Look at this. Look what Floppy has done. Oh, my God. Oh, that is horrible. You know... It's a real pain in the ass, this uh, scooping up dog crap. You gotta bend over, you gotta find a garbage pail, you gotta smell it. It really is the worst part of owning a dog. Until now. We call these log loads. It's a simple explosive charge. It makes handling feces fun again. Yeah. Let's see how these work. You take one of these log loads, you put it right in there. And then what you want to do is light it and get away quickly. Light the fuse. <laughs> Try to get away faster. Mm, it tastes like hepatitis. <laughs> well, and by the way. I knew we should have rehearsed. The man show is eligible for Emmy consideration. We'll be back with more of this filthy, disgusting show. Girls on trampolines and Cindy Crawford. Worst moments in man history. 1920. Men give women the right to vote. We're trying to stop the suffrage um, and the suffrage of women in this country. Sir, I would be happy to sign. Thank you very much. You've saved the dolphins. Now let's stop the suffrage. I do this for personal reasons. My mother, um, two of my aunts, and my sister all suffered last year. Tell me what the 19th Amendment is. The 19th Amendment is very unjust. Men are going to help us stop Men and women to men stop are. the suffrage. I'm not sure about this guy. What about male suffrage? No, we're, that's okay. The ignorance is really the big problem with this country. Ignorance is bliss. What am I signing? Three American flags here. Collect them and trade them. 
Help us end the suffraging and get a merit badge. Maybe one day, you won't be pimping those cookies all day, you know? We we'll, we'll like to sign this petition to stop women's suffrage. We can get these kids some clothes. It's the young people in America that are going to help change. Whereabouts in Nam are you from? I'm from Huey. Huey? You know a guy named Jeff? I'm totally confused. <laughs> we want to we stop the suffraging in this suffrage. country. Isn't suffrage women's right to vote? Confidential, yeah. Confident. So you're trying to stop women's fights. Thank you. Thank you very much. This is, We're this trying is a stupid to thing. They're saying stop women's rights. You, to you two guys look like the ones that are making us suffer. Well, well tell sir, me what it is. You're stopping really sir, fun of, you're making fun of yourself. There's many you. causes in the world. You're absurd. You're a joke. Man. You're both a joke. Goodbye. And what is it? Yeah. And we want to put an end to it, and your signature is going to help us. I want us. you to be a little more clear first. Well, uh, we wonderful. could get a signature, we could hurry up and end the suffrage, and we could all go home. Are you in a relationship with a woman? Are you yes. coming on to me? No. Thanks. 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 Could I get a hug? Thank you. How come uh, it's a man who's doing this? Because we what care. To the women? The women are lazy, it turns out. Would you like to help us? Because, quite frankly, I mean, we'd like to take a little break. If you wouldn't mind walking around with this... Hello, would you like to sign for the summer? What was this? The suffering of women in this suffrage. country? Suffrage. No, nobody understands this word. You can't explain the word. You're right, you're right. But no, this is offensive. Women's really? suffrage is the right for women to vote. No, no, no. no. Suffrage gives women the right them, to vote. They're, they're, making, they're, making, they're making fun of you. Really? No, I mean, I'm not a registered voter. That's all right. Are you an American? I'm, I'm, I'm broke. All right. They're white men who are wasting energy. We're not time white. We're not white. On... What are you from Cameroon? <laughs> Help us send a message to Congress on behalf of American women, um, saying to stop the suffraging. Thank you. God Thank bless you. you. Stop, stop suffrage stop. now. Stop suffrage now. Stop suffrage now. Thank you, ladies. We're doing all we can. The Man Show will be right back. Who's your favorite actor? Leonardo. Why? What do you mean, why? He's so talented and cute, and he saved that girl on the Titanic. That was just a movie. Hello, based on a true story. <laughs> Hi, I'm Cindy Crawford. Welcome to Bathroom Talk. If you're like me, nothing irritates you more than a running toilet. The problem may be as simple as a faulty overflow tube or a bad ball cock unit. So before you get out the auger or uncoil the snake, try bending the floating arm like so. This way the flapper valve shuts off sooner, preventing water from reaching the overflow tube. It's just that easy. Next week, we look at ways to improvise a retainer pivot nut in a cartridge faucet. This is Bathroom Talk. I'm Cindy Crawford. Did she say what I think she said, Jimmy? Uh, I think she did say something. Dennis, can we see that again? Ball cock. Yeah. <laughs> you know what that means, don't you? Mm. That means she wants to have sex with us. <laughs> All right, well, now it is, uh, oh, look, it's my wife, Gina. <laughs> Delightful as always. Getting ready for the wife's perspective. Hold your water, honey ass. We'll get to you, but uh, first we got something a little more important. You know, our goal here on The Man Show is not just to entertain, but also to educate. So, we have some real questions from some audience members who are looking for some advice. And our first question comes from Lisa Kim. Lisa, where are you? All right, Lisa asks, why is it that men need to experience sex before they can feel intimacy? Uh, that is a huge fib. They, yeah. just, uh, they just say they experience intimacy so they can get laid. Right, yeah. They never experience intimacy. Uh, the only intimate moments I have are on my knees in front of the Spice Channel, believe me. All right, next question. From uh, another woman, actually, Amanda Meixel asked, do men feel intimidated by a woman who can beat them at a sport? Hmm. We wouldn't know. That's never happened. <laughs> uh, <laughs> my last question. I think that was 
very That helpful. was our last question, actually. Yeah, I think it was. We better get to the wife's perspective. Jeannie, you ready back there? Okay. Uh, okay. First of all, I... Uh, oh, oh, you hold on, hold, hold, hold to... on a second. Oh, my goodness. What a shame. I'm... I'm sorry, honey. My girlfriend tells me it's either let you babble on or watch girls jumping on trampolines. So, unfortunately, we're going to have to cut the wife's perspective tonight. We can talk about it on the very long drive home. All right, fellas, we've had a lot of fun tonight, haven't we? Hey, Fox, are we a little Ziggy Socky to end the program? Yeah! Ziggy Socky, Ziggy Socky, hoy, hoy, hoy! Ziggy Socky, Ziggy Socky, hoy, hoy! Oh my goodness! Yes. Now we leave you with girls jumping on trampolines. Good night. Yeah. Show is a Stone Stanley production in association with 